Hi ladies and gents, it's that seller coming to you with just a, a quick show and demonstration on <coughs> ephemera or just all your bits and pieces that you use in your crafting. Um, I had these, I've seen several people create the little folios for ephemera, but for newbies and, and, and beginners it may be sort of overwhelming and cumbersome um, putting it all together. So this is as simple as it simple as it can be. So if you've got any photo albums, and we're not talking about the ones with the sticky sticky things, we're talking about the one with the actual sleeves, um, which are like these. Now you may have some, you know, that have the three for, for the photos, but most of them slide in this way. So you've got to figure out how to create something that you can create pockets and I'll show you how I created mine, being large. <laughs> okay, so basically I took it down just to see how it all came together or how to put it back together I should say. So you open it up. So there's your first page. So I just got a, um, I took all the pages out and I'll demonstrate with this one so you, if you wanted to, to do it you'll know um, not to make a mistake like I did with the very first one and that, that's actually in here and I'll show you how. So you make sure that it's opened at the top, sealed at the bottom. So all I did was I, before the seam there, because that's joined, I just cut a straight line sailing knife to probably a centimetre away um, before a centimetre away and, and did, did that. So that's how I made sure that um, it didn't come apart. Now, if you happen to go beyond that, don't worry. There's a there's a measure there's a, a tip for that, and I'll show you as I go along. So y you can see the cuts along there, and they and this is where I went too far, so I had to join it together. You can see the stitching there, but you can cover it up, or not to worry. So I just created like two thirds and a third on this particular page to put all the botanical expressions, um, they're just all, um, you know, you can sort of separate it and, and do it as it is, but see that's all to do with rectangles, you know, so for when I make the tea cards or faux stamps, so that's why that's in this particular pocket. Okay, so it's a simple app, you've got a sewing machine, um, not necessarily do you need a sewing machine because you can use tape um, if you've got a clear tape which I don't have present but if you don't have a sewing machine and you wanted to, to do this particular method it's quick and easy this took me 15 minutes to do rather than you know like yeah anyway <laughs> uh, so that's that particular one so you can see the other side here um, and I made my own washi tape I'll pull up the piece and you can see the stitching stitching lines that I did. Now I made my own washi tape. I can do it with material or I'll put pages and I'll show you how to make that if you would if ever a requested video comes up. Um, so now that you've got the pocket. These are flowers cut from wallpaper and then you know that'll be all sort of like floral and botanical. Um, botanical on one side and, and floral on the other and if you need more page as well you can keep adding postcards these are made from real thick cardstock this is just paper backed these are just some ticket stubs some library book cards and just different things you know like check receipts and so forth what do you have Miss I tell you you're like a bullet um, ticket stubs which I've got to add more um, various other different things and then we've got our labels here I'm going to have to make two because it's getting too full and it's opening it up and they're falling out rather easily so but you can always put a a, a peg or a paper clip these are numbers I'm experimenting on um, doing what do you call it? My own digital kits. I used to do Paint Shop Pro uh, 12 years ago and teach it. And I thought, why couldn't I could have created that years ago and created business? 
These are vellum printouts um, I did about 10 years ago. Um, I never trusted my ability, so that's why I never ever showcased any of it. So, but I, I will, you know, as I go along. So, this was a mistake. <laughs> I wasn't. I, I was in a a daze and ended up doing it this way. So I thought, well, why not? You can do your belly bands in there. You can put your um, if you're making any long bookmarks and also your page borders, you know, anything page bordery, long thin strip there and there's sort of six, six sections. Then I continued to do them six in that section, another six in that section, so there's twelve. Then I did the two thirds. So you can see um, the stitching there, which I haven't, um, it's only just been put in the book and then, you know, I'll work, it, work ahead. Uh, my stitching's not very straight. Have a look at that one. I have no idea. But I'll work around it. Um, I think there was one where, that one actually, I, I rule, rule lined a texture down there on the back as well. No, not on the back, but anyway, so I could actually follow it. Because with it being plastic on the on the on the machine it was moving and I, I wasn't realising so that's how I, I come to make that. But you know, neither here nor there, just put a bit of ribbon around it, you know, you put a bit bit thick. But it's it's too too much on an angle, you'd end up having to make a really wide strip of um, paper down. But then, you know, you've still got the pockets to do. So that's just a quick show and tell. This one I I didn't sew down the middle, so I may have to actually take that one out. But you can also add more. So that's my show and tell today. And just look for a photo album, even if you can make a photo album that half. And, you know, look for photo albums that you, you slide in the top and you'll get away with making a ephemera holder just by just purchasing a photo album. Alright, till then take care and thank you for watching. Bye.